God bless you, everyone. If you're joining us today, we are beginning a 10-week series on how to be a Bible-centered leader. Um, Boži blagoslovo, ako ste ovde sa nama, mi počinjemo lekcije oko deset nedelja će to trajati i tema će biti kako biti vođa na biblijski način. We thank you for joining us and we pray that this would be a benefit to you and to your ministry. Hvala vam što ste nam se priključili i naša je molitva da ovo bude stvarno benefit, nešto korisno za vas i za vašu službu. Let me begin with a word of prayer and then I'll give you an overview of what we're going to study for the next 10 weeks. Dozvolite mi najpre da se pomolim i onda ćemo uh, ukratko reći šta nas čeka sljedećih deset nedelja. Lord, we thank you so much for your word and we thank you for the encouragement and the guidance direction that you give to us every day. Gospode, hvala ti za tvoju reč, za te upute koje preko nje na svaki dan imamo i hvala ti. We thank you for the opportunities and the responsibilities that you have given to us as leaders in the kingdom of God. Hvala ti za te mogućnosti i za te odgovornosti koje imamo kao vođe i koje nam ti daješ na svaki dan. We ask that you would direct our thoughts and give us understanding of your word to help us to become better leaders for those that have decided to follow you, Lord. Molimo da ti upravljaš naše misli kako bi mogli postati još bolje vođe i svi oni koje ti vodiš, gospode. And so we thank you in advance for what you're going to do and what you are already doing in Jesus' name. Amen. I zato ti unapred zahvaljujemo za ono što ćeš uraditi za nas, za ono što radiš uh, za nas u Isusovo ime. Amen. We are going to, like I said, give a 10-week uh, Bible uh, lesson on leadership, and we will provide 10 lessons during this time. Kao što rekoh, mi ćemo sljedećih deset nedelja vama uh, ponuditi deset lekcija na temu vođstvo. Let me give you a brief overview of what each lesson will be about. Dozvolite mi ukratko da vam kažem uh, kakve će ove lekcije biti i o čemu će se ovdje govoriti. The first two weeks we want to discuss what really is a Bible-centered leader. Prve dve nedelje ćemo stvarno diskutovati o onome šta to znači biti uh, vođa koji je usred sređen na Bibliju. Now we're going to uh, answer this question with the Word of God, with the Bible itself and the scriptures that talk about leadership. I odgovorit ćemo to preko Biblije i preko stihova koje o tome govore iz Biblije. We will begin today with lesson one and look at several scriptures that show the importance of the Word of God in the leader's life. Počet ćemo danas sa prvom lekcijom i iz Biblije ćemo uh, govoriti uh, i dati nekoliko stihova uh, o značaju Biblije u životu vođe. In lesson three we will look at what it means to be a, a shepherd leadership or leader uh, based on the teachings of Jesus. U trećoj uh, lekciji govorit ćemo o tome šta to znači biti vođa pastir na primjeru Isusa Hrista. These are scriptures and stories that Jesus told in the gospels about him being the shepherd and us being the, the sheep or the followers. Uh, ovo su lekcije o Isusu kojima on govori uh, u Evanđelju šta to znači uh, on ka, uh, šta to znači on da bude uh, kao vođa kao pastir a mi kao njegovi sledbenici odnosno njegove ovce. And then in lessons 4 through 7 we're going to look at um, 
special books in the Bible that speak about leadership principles. I onda od četvrte lekcije do sedme lekcije gledat ćemo iz nekoliko knjiga iz Biblije koje nam govore o tim lekcijama vodstva. Now in my studies on leadership principles in the Bible, I have discovered principles in every book of the Bible. U svom vlastitom studiranju principa vodstva u Biblije, ja pronalazim te principe u svakoj knjizi Biblije. But we're not going to look at every book of the Bible, just two or three different books that speak specifically on leadership and godly principles. Ali nećemo govoriti o svim knjigama, nego ćemo govoriti možda o dve, tri knjige koje specifično govore o tim principima vodstva. And then we're going to go into studying certain leaders in the Bible, specific Bible characters that were leaders and followed after the principles of God. I onda ćemo posmatrati nekoliko posebnih vođa, njihov karakter i te principe koje su bile primjenjivane u njihovim životima. And then finally, in our last lesson, we're going to uh, give a lesson explaining how to study the Bible, how to study the Word of God for leadership principles. I onda u posljednjoj lekciji ćemo govoriti o tome kako studirati uh, Bibliju, odnosno kako pronaći i studirati te principe vodstva u Bibliji. You may ask, why are we focused on the Bible so much when we should be focusing on uh, uh, principles that teach us to be a better leader. Why only the Bible? Um, možete se zapitati zašto treba da se fokusiramo na Bibliju, a zašto se ne usredsrediti možda na te principe uh, koje pronalazimo u Bibliji. I really believe that we need to study and read books about leadership and and go to classes about leadership, but the Word of God, the Bible, is the foundation for discovering how to be a good leader. Ja verujem da trebamo čitati i knjige i, i razne uh, materijale o vodstvu, ali uh, Biblija je ono što je osnovno uh, kada razmatramo i posmatramo vodstvo. It's because the Bible, the Word of God, is everlasting. It does not pass away. So the principles that we learn from it will also last for a long time. Uh, Biblia je večna, znači ti principi u njoj su večni i zato ako ih studiramo, studiramo te principe, oni su dakle večni. So we must, to be a good leader, we must learn to study the Word of God and use those principles in our leadership uh, in our leadership and followers that are following after us. Uh, pošto smo vođe, mi bi trebali da studiramo uh, o vođstvu, o tim principima, kako bi i ostali koji nas slede, sledili isto te principe. Now, let's go to the Word of God because there are three Bible verses that I uh, like to use to explain the importance of being a Bible-centered leader. Uh, pogledajmo sad u Bibliju i postoje tirist uh, biblijska stiha iz kojih ja želim da uh, pronađemo koji je to vođa koji je usredsređen na Bibliju. Let's first look at the book of 2 Timothy and chapter 3 verses 16 through 17. Pogledajmo najpre u drugo Timoteju, treću glavu, 16. i 17. stih. The Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped, for every good work. Biblia kaže da je svako pismo dato pod nadahnućem Božjim i da je ono korisno za čoveka Božijeg. This tells us that it is in the word of God that we get 
doctrine, we find correction, we find instruction for our life. Uh, iz ovoga možemo vidjeti da u Bibliji mi nalazimo i doktrinu, dakle i e, naše upute i ispravke što se tiče našeg života. So if we want to be a successful leader, we must first of all study the word of God where the principles that will equip us to be a better leader are found. Uh, mi ako želimo dakle uh, da budemo dobri vođe moramo pronaći te principe i moramo se okrenuti dakle reči Božjoj gdje se ti principi nalaze. Paul is telling his uh, student Timothy that the word of God the Bible will give us equip us for every good work and give us the principles to be a better leader. Pavle nam kaže da u reči Božjoj pronalazimo sve principe i ona nas stvarno daje nam sve potrebno kako bi bili dobri vođe. Now let's go in the same book, 2 Timothy, let's look at chapter 2 and verse number 15. Sada ud, pogledajmo drugo Trimoteve, drugo glavu, ali 15. stih. Paul says, Timothy, be diligent to present yourself a proof to God, a worker that does not need to be ashamed, rightly or correctly dividing the word of truth. Uh, Pavle kaže, daj sve od sebe da stekneš Božje priznanje, da budeš radnik koji nema čega da se stidi, koji se ispravno služi rečju istine. Now, if we are going to be successful leaders in the work of God, it's important that we seek the approval of God first and foremost. Da bi bili uh, dobre i uspešne vođe, na prvom mestu moramo tražiti um, uh, da nas Bog potvrdi i da uh, budemo njemu ugodni. Remember, we are, as leaders, we have followers or we have people that are learning from us, but ultimately we are learning from God himself. Mi kao vođe imamo ljude koji nas slede, ali na prvom mestu mi kao vođe učimo od Boga. So Paul tells Timothy it's important not only that you read the word of God, but you correctly interpret the scriptures. Pavle kaže da nije važno Timoteje samo da ispravno čitaš reč Božju, nego da je ispravno i tumačiš. Now the prophet Isaiah gives us the importance of being successful in any part of our life basing our life on the word of god prorok izaja kaže da ako budem ako želimo biti uspešni u svemu u svom životu treba da se pouzdajemo na boga let's read isaiah chapter 40 and verse number 8 pročitajmo dakle izaja 40 glavu 8 stih says the grass withers and the flower fades away but the word of our god stands forever trava se osuši i cvet uvene ali reč našeg boga ostaje do veka this is why we center our life and center our ministry on the word of god because it will last forever zato mi uh, usmeravamo i pravimo je centrom svog života uh, Bibliju, da kre reč Božju, jer ona uh, do veka traje. If you center your leadership values and principles on something of this world, it will only last for a short time. Ako se usred središ na uh, stvari ovoga sveta, uh, te uh, i tvoj život i te stvari neće trajati dugo. But if you center your leadership on the Bible, the word of God, it has a chance of lasting much longer because this word will last forever. Ali ako se usred središ svoj život i svoje vođstvo na reč Božju, uh, onda to će trajati dugo, jer reč Božja traje dugo. You might be asking, Pastor Ray, what do you think uh, 
what is a Bible-centered leader? What is a definition of a Bible-centered leader? I'll give that to you. Možeš se zapitati pa šta je onda uh, vodstvo koje je usredsređeno na Bibliju, koja je to definicija, pa ja ću vam je dati upravo sada. A Bible-centered leader is a leader whose leadership has been learned by the Bible, by the Word of God. Uh, vođa uh, koji je ili vođstvo koje je usredsređeno na Bibliju je vođstvo koje se uči iz Biblije. Now this leader, you might be a leader in the church, you, you could be maybe a pastor, you could be a teacher, you could be over a certain ministry in the church. Ti si možda pastor, možda si vođa u crkvi, možda si uh, neki službenik u crkvi, ali u svakom slučaju si vođa. Now you might be a leader in business, you might be a leader on your job, you might be a leader in your school. Možda si pak vođa u svom biznisu, na svom poslu ili u školi. You may be a leader in your home. Maybe you have a family and you have been uh, given a leadership responsibilities for your family. Možda si u vođa u svojoj vlastitoj uh, porodici i daješ vođstvo toj svojoj porodici. I am encouraging you today Whatever leadership role you find yourself in, be a Bible-centered leader. Ja te želim ohrabriti danas, bez obzira u kojoj si poziciji vođstva, uh, želim da te ohrabim da budeš usredsređen na Bibliju, da to bude biblijsko vođstvo. This means that you are a leader who has been personally shaped by princi- principles and values from the Bible, the Word of God. To znači da si kao vođa lično oblikovan i principima i vrednostima koje nalazimo u Bibliji. It means that you are a leader who has read the word of God. You have studied and understood the books of the Bible. To znači da si vođa koji razume Bibliju, koji studira Bibliju i studira te knjige uh, iz Biblije. Not just having read the Bible, but you understood the Bible well enough that you can apply the scriptures to current situations that you find yourself in. Ne samo da čitaš Bibliju, što je veoma potrebno, nego da razumeš šta Biblija govori i kako te principe možeš primeniti na trenutnu situaciju u kojoj se nalaziš. So if you are a Bible-centered leader, you can use the Bible in ministry to impact those that are following your teachings. Ako si dakle vođa koji je usredsređen na Bibliju, ti ćeš koristiti Bibliju u svojoj službi da utičeš na one koji te slede. Now, this first lesson, I am very heavy on scriptures. I'm going to give you 15 different scriptures that show the importance of the Bible. Ova prva lekcija, stvarno uh, želimo uh, dosta da govorimo o Bibliji i da ću vam 15 stihova uh, koje nam govore o važnosti Biblije. So get ready, we're not going to do this every week, but for right now we're just going to read through these 15 different scripture locations. I zato se pripremite, Neće to, nećemo ovo raditi na svakoj našoj, uh, u svakoj našoj lekciji, ali sada pripremite se, uh, prolazimo kroz ovih 15 stihova. Yeah, I'm not going to talk at length after every one of these, but I want you to ask yourself a question as we read these uh, particular verses. Uh, neću govoriti obimno o svakim stihovima koje ćemo pro- pročitati, ali želim da se zapitate ka- kako budemo čitali ovih uh, nekoliko stihova. I want you to ask yourself this question. What do all of these Bible verses have in common? What is the main theme of all of these verses? Želim da se zapitate kako budemo čet, čitali ovih 15 mesta u Bibliji, šta ovi stihovi imaju zajedničko. 
First one that we're going to read is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 through 9. Uh, u prvi uh, naš odeljak je u petoj Mojsijevoj šestoj glavi, a stihovi su od šestog do devetog stiha. The word of the Lord says, these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk of them when you sit down in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. I neka ove reči koje ti danas zapovedam budu u tvom srcu. Usadjuj ih sinovima svojim i govori o njima kad sediš u svojoj kući i kad ideš putem, kad ležeš i kad ustaješ. Priveži ih kao znak na svoju ruku i neka ti budu kao poves među očima. Napiši ih na dovracima svoje kuće i na svojim vratima. So the Lord is telling his people at the very beginning of them as a nation, he is showing them the importance of the word of God. Gospod im pokazuje odmah na početku njih kao nacije uh, važnost i značaj uh, Božje reči. And we can learn as leaders and just as followers of Jesus Christ the importance of the word of God in every part of our life. I mi kao vođe i kao sledbenici Isusa Hrista možemo uh, naučiti o značaju reči Božje. Now let's stay in the same book of Deuteronomy and let's read chapter 17 verses 18 through 20. Ostanimo u istoj knjizi, petoj Mojsijevoj, a sada okrenimo 17. glavu, stihovi 18 do 20. It says also, it shall be when he sits on the throne of his kingdom that he shall write for himself a copy of this law in the book from the one before the priest, the Levites. And it shall be with him that he shall read it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God and be careful to observe all the words of this law and these statutes, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brethren, but that he may not turn aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, and that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. A kad sedne na presto svog kraljevstva, neka ovaj zakon prepiše sebi na svitku u prisustvu sveštenika Levita. Neka ga drži kod sebe i neka ga čita sve dane svog života, da bi naučio da se boji gospoda svog Boga, da izvršava sve reči ovog zakona, i ove propise i da postupa po njima, da se njegovo srce ne bi uzvisilo iznad njegove braće i da ne bi odstupio od ovog put, uputa ni desno ni levo i da bi on i njegovi sinovi produžili dane svog kraljevanja u Izraelu. This is an amazing chapter in the Bible because the Lord is speaking prophetically to his people. He is saying in the future you're going to ask for me to give you a king over you. Ovo je divna knjiga jer Gospod ovdje govori proročki uh, za ovaj narod jer kada vas ja uvedem u, obeć, uh, u zemlju vi ćete od mene tražite da vam dam kraljevstvo. And God gives Moses and he gives the people of Israel a strong commandment that they need to study the words of God. I Bog je dao jednu snažnu uputu Mojsiju i njegovu narodu da treba da studiraju reč Božju. But we as leaders find a very important principle to become a better leader found right in this portion of scripture. Mi kao vođe pronalazimo da budemo još bolje vođe upravo tu silu u ovim stihovima. God is saying that if you want to be a successful leader of my people, you must read the law 
you must study the law. In fact, you must write it out word for word. Gospod kaže, ako želite da budete uspešni vođe moga naroda, morate da studirate, morate da čitate i morate da napišete moj zakon. We can learn by studying the word of God and, and what helps us to do is to actually write out the words of the pages of the Bible. Mi možemo da uh, učimo uh, o reči Božjoj kada studiramo reč Božju, ali isto tako i kada zapisujemo Božju reč. And by doing so, the word of God tells us that our days will be prolonged and we will be a more successful leader. I reč Božja kaže, uh, kada to budemo činili, naši dani će se produžiti i bit ćemo uspešni u svemu onome što činimo. Now this theme continues in the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse number 8. Ova tema se nastavlja u knjizi Jošuinoj ili knjizi Isusa Navina prve glave 8. stih. It says this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Neka se ova knjiga zakona ne odvaja od tvojih usta. Pažljivo je čitaj dan i noć da bi je držao i, otvorio, uh, i tvorio sve što je u njoj napisano, jer ćeš tada biti uspješan na svom putu i postupat ćeš mudro. So I ask you the question today, do you want to be a good leader? Do you want to be a successful leader? Hoću da vas pitam danas, da li želite biti dobar vođa, da li želite biti uspešan vođa? Listen to the word of the Lord to Joshua as a leader of God's people when he says, study the word of God, don't let it out of your sight. Poslušajmo, dakle, Jošu i njegov, njegov zapis kada on kaže neka ova knjiga zakona ne odlazi od tvojih usta, ti je studiraj, razmišljaj i govori o njoj. He says, begin your day with the word of God and end your day with the word of God and meditate on it throughout the day. On kaže, započni svoj dan sa reču Božjom, završi svoj dan uz reč Božju i meditiraj o reči Božjoj između. It is in this way that you will become a successful leader. Jer jedino na ovaj način ti ćeš postati uspešan kao vođa. Now let's look at the book of Psalm, Psalm 1 verses 1 through 3. Pogledajmo sada u psalme i to prvi psalam, prva tri stiha. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. What will happen? He will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also does not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Srećan je čovek koji po savetu zlih ne postupa, na putu grešnika ne stoji i u društvu podrugljivaca ne sedi, nego uživa u zakonu gospodnjem i dan i noć pažljivo čita zakon njegov. On je kao drvo posađeno kraj voda, koja teku, koje plot svoj donosi u svoje vreme, kojem lišćem nevene i sve što radi bit će uspešno. Boy, we could spend a lot of time just on these three verses, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to let the word of God uh, just present itself for what it is. Mogli bi stvarno dugo vremena da govorimo ovo, samo ova tri stiha, ali uh, nećemo to uraditi ovog puta, neka reč gospodnja sama po sebi govori i neka nam sedne unutar nas. Let's continue the leadership principles we find in the word of God in Psalm 19, verse 7 through 11. Sada nastavljamo uh, sa tim principima o vođstvu i pogledat ćemo psalam 19, 19. glava od 7. do 11. stiha. 
The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. The sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Nauk je gospodnji savršen, dušu krepi. Svedočanstvo je gospodnje pouzdano, da je mudro z neiskusnome. Propisi su gospodnji pravedni, srce vesele. Nauk je gospodnji čist, oči prosvetljuje. Strah od gospoda je čist, zauvek ostaje. Odluke su gospodnje istinite i pravedne. Dragocenije su od zlata, od mnogog suvog zlata, vladje su od meda, od meda što teče iz sađa. One opominju slugu tvoga kojih se drži veliku nagradu ima. What an incredible portion of scripture that we read here, talking about how the word of God is more valuable than precious gold. Kakav dragoceni deo pisma koje nam govori da je reč gospodnja stvarno dragocenija od suboga zlata. He is saying here, if you keep the words of God, if you learn from the word of God, you will have a great reward because of it. Ovdje kaže da ako stvarno sačuvaš reč Božju, ako je ispunjavaš, Uh, ona će ti doneti mnogu nagradu. Now, in Psalm 119, verses 9 through 11, we read more about the importance of the Word of God. U Psalmu 119, uh, od 9. do 11. stiha, uh, govorit ćemo, uh, dakle, o još ovim uh, stvarima. Really, the entire chapter 119 is all about the importance of the word of God but we won't read it because it's the longest chapter in the Bible. Ceo 119. psalam govori o značaju Božje reči, ali ga nećemo normalno pročitati jer je to najduža glava u čitavoj Bibliji. Verse 9 to 11 How can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word? With my whole heart I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Kako će mladić čistim sačuvati put svoj? Pazeći na sebe po reči tvojoj. Svim srcem svojim tebe tražim. Ne daj da zastranim od uputstava tvojih. U srcu svome čuvam reč tvoju da ti ne zgrešim. This scripture shows us that we can live a clean and a pure life before God as long as we stay in the word of God and read it on a daily basis. Ovaj deo pisma nam govori da možemo ostati čistim pred licem gospodnim ako čitamo i primenjujemo reč Božju u svom životu svaki dan. It shows us as leaders the importance of studying the word of god maybe even memorizing some of the scriptures which is what is hiding it in my heart uh, kao vođe uh, ovo nam je značajno da čitamo uh, božju reč i ako je potrebno čak i da memorišemo ili upamtimo uh, reč božju ono što se kaže da sačuvamo u svom srcu let's read one more verse out of Psalm 119, and that's verse number 99. Pročitajmo još jedan stih iz ovog psalma, broj 119, da to je 99. stih. He says, I have more understanding than all of my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. Razumni sam postao od svojih učitelja, jer razmišljam o poukama tvojim. Isn't that amazing it, it, that you can have more understanding even than your teachers because you are meditating on the Word of God? 
Zar to nije divno da možeš postati razumni čak i od svojih učitelja samo zbog toga što razmišljaš, odnosno meditiraš nad Božjom rečiju? It's because the principles that you find in the Bible are principles that will last forever. Jer principi koje pronalazimo u Bibliji su principi koji će večno da traju. They are principles that are relevant to you where you live right now. They will work in any situation that you find yourself in. Tamo postoje principi koji su relevantni upravo za tebe i u situaciji u kojoj se ti nalaziš i oni će ti pomoći. Now let's stay in the book of Psalms, Psalm 138, verse number 2. Ostanimo još u psalmima, sada pogledajmo 138. psalam, drugi stih. He says, I will worship toward your holy temple and I will praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Poklonit ću se prema svetom hramu tvome i hvalit ću ime tvoje zbog ljubavi tvoje i istine tvoje, jer si reč svoju uzdigao iznad svog imena. Now you may say, how can the writer of the psalm say that the word is higher than the name of God? Možeš se zapitati kako psalmista može reći da koji, koji piše da je reč Božja višlja od imena Božjeg. I don't believe that he was saying that the name of the Lord is lower. I think he was looking for something that was as high as he could find to compare the word of God to. Ja ne mislim da je ime gospodnje stvarno nisko, uh, nego mislim da je on uh, tražio nešto uzvišeno sa čime bi mogao usporediti reč Božju. He said I will praise the name of the Lord, so he was not saying that the name of the Lord is not high. He was saying that the name of the Lord is to be praised. On, je, on kaže, ja ću proslaviti ime gospodnje i on time nije mislio da je ime gospodnje nisko, nego je upravo uzvišeno i zato ga je i slavio. He could say the word of the Lord is higher than the highest mountain, but that would not be enough. Mogli bi reći da je reč Božja višlja od najvišeg brda, ali to ne bi bilo dovoljno visoko. He could say that the, the word of God is higher than the highest star in the heavens, but even that would not be enough. Mogao je reći da je reč Božja višlja od najudaljenije i najvišlje zvezde, ali ni to ne bi bilo uh, dovoljno visoko. So he wanted to make the, the importance of the word of God so high that he compared it to the name of the Lord. On je želeo da uzdigne značaj reči Božje i zbog toga je uzdigao iznad tog uzvišenog imena Božjeg. The word of God is so important and so high that it is to be part of our life even higher than the highest thing that we can give praise to and that is the name of the Lord. Reč Božja treba da uh, stvarno uh, bude visoka u našim životima i uh, č- toliko visoka čak i od najvišljeg, uh, a ono je ime gospodnje koje mi proslavljamo, uzdižemo i obožavamo. My friends, the name of Jesus is higher than any kingdom, any mountain, any star in the sky. Ime gospoda Isusa Hrista, moj prijatelju, je najuzveš, najuzvišenije ime iznad svih najvećih i brda i, i, i zvezda. The name of Jesus is higher and more important than any problem that you're going to face in your life. Ime Isus je višlje i od tvojih problema kroz koje možda, sa kojima se možda susrećeš, moj prijatelju. And as important and as powerful as the name of Jesus is, so is the word of God and must be applied in our life every day. 
I kao što je ime gospodnje značajno u našim životima, isto toliko je značajna i reč Božja koja mora biti primjenjivana u našim životima. I will stop preaching and now we'll go to the next verse and that's Ezra chapter 7 and verse number 10. Prestaću da propovedam i sad idemo na sljedeći stih, a to je Ezra 7. glava 10. stih. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach statutes and ordinances in Israel. Ezra je pripremio svoje srce da istražuje gospodni zakon, da postupa po njemu i da u Izraelu poučava propisima i pravdi. This scripture tells us how to be an effective leader just like Ezra was in the Bible. Ovaj odeljak nas uči kako biti uspešan vođa isto kao što je i Ezra bio u Izraelu uspešan vođa. First of all, he says you must prepare your hearts as you go to the word of the Lord. Na prvom mjestu on kaže da treba pripremiti srce kako bi došao pred gospoda. How do we do that? Well, we pray as we read the word of God that God will show us truths from his word. Kako to činimo? Pa molimo se pre nego što počnemo uh, čitati iz Božje reči da nam on pokaže taj ispravan put. And then the scripture says, before you teach the word of God, you must obey, you must do what the word of God says. I onda pismo kaže pre nego što naučavamo druge reč gospodnju, treba da mi činimo ono što reč gospodnja traži od svih nas. Okay, next verse is found by another leader, Daniel chapter 9 in verse number 2. Sledeci stih uh, označaju reči Božje nalazimo o Danielu koji je još jedan uspešan vođa u 9. glavi drugi stih. In the first year of the king's reign, I Daniel understood by the books the number of years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Prve godine njegovog vladanja, ja Danilo, razumeo sam iz knjiga broj godina koje prema reči koju je gospod uputio proroku Jeremiji treba da se navrše nad opustošenim Jerusalimom, naime, 70 godina. The scripture tells us that Daniel was able to interpret and he was able to understand the books that were written by Jeremiah the prophet. Ovaj odeljak nam govori da je Danilo bio u stanju da razume i da protumači knjige koje je napisao prorok Jeremija. The reason that Daniel was able to prophesy the word of God, the reason he was able to interpret dreams was because he was a student of the Bible. Razlog zbog čega je Danilo mogao i da prorokuje i da uh, tumači i snove je zbog toga što je on studirao uh, te proročke knjige, na primjer Jeremiju. So if we want to be a successful leader of God's people, we must spend time in the word of God. Dakle, ako želimo biti uspešan vođa, moramo se provesti određeno vreme u studiranju reči Božje. Now let's go to the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 4 and verse number 4 and listen to the words of Jesus. Pogledajmo sada u Matejevom evanđelju četvrte glave, četvrti stih, ovo su Isusove reči. But Jesus answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Zapisano je, odgovori mu Isus, čovjek ne živi samo od hleba, nego i od svake ob... So this tells us, Jesus is telling us that though we need uh, physical bread, we need physical food, that's not what we live only by, but we need the word of God in our life. 
Ovo nam govori da iako nam je potrebno za naš svakodnevni život hleb, da živimo preko njega, ipak naš život nije od samoga hleba. Let's look at the book of Acts, chapter 20 and verse 32. Pogledajmo sada u dela apostolska 20. glavu, 32. stih. Now, this scripture, let me just share with you what this chapter is talking about. Paul has called the leaders of the church at Ephesus together and he's giving them direction. Da vam uh, ukratko objasnim o čemu je ova glava reč. Uh, Pavle ovo sakupio vođe u Efezu i govori sa njima. Listen to what he says. So now, brothers, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I sada, braćo, poveravam vas Bogu i poruci o njegovoj blagodati, poruci koja vas može izgraditi i dati vam nasledstvo među svim posvećenima. So Paul is telling them if you want to be a successful leader in God's church, if you want to have followers and disciples, you need to study the word of God on a daily basis. Pavle mi kaže ako želite biti uspešne vođe, i želite da imate sledbenike koji će isto tako biti uspešni, morate da studirate Božju reč i to svakodnevno. By doing so, it will build you up and it will also build the people, the disciples that follow your leading. Na taj način izgrađivat ćete sami sebe, ali bit će izgrađeni i oni koji će vas slediti. Okay, Romans chapter 15 and verse number 4. Let's read that together. Rimljanima 15. glava, četvrti stih. Hajde zajedno i da to pročitamo. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Jer sve što je nekada napisano, napisano je nama za pouku, da svojom istrajnošću i utehom iz pisma imamo nadu. Now, Paul is telling us that we can uh, learn from the Word of God and the examples of those that are written about in the Word of God. Paul kaže da mi možemo naučiti iz reči Božje i iz primjera onih koji su zapisani u reči Božjoj. As leaders of God's people, we must have hope and the scriptures provide that hope to us. Kao vođe moramo imati nadu i ponuditi nadu, a pismo samo nam donosi takvu nadu. Now this scripture points out something we know as leaders, that there are going to be difficult times as we are leading God's people, but we bring comfort from the scriptures and hope from the scriptures. O pismo nam govori da će naići teška vremena, ali uh, pošto i mi trebamo nadu i utehu, samo pismo nam tu nadu i utehu nudi. The same principle is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6 and verse 11. Isti principi, uh, iste principe nalazimo i u prvoj Korintjanima 10. glava 6. i 11. stih. Verse 6, now these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Verse 11, now all these things happened to them as examples and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come. A to se dogodilo nama za primjer da ne žudimo za zlom kao što su oni žudeli, 11. stih. A sve im se to događalo tipski i napisano je za upozorenje nama koji živimo na kraju vekova. This is an advantage that we have as Bible-centered leaders. We can learn from the examples of others in the Bible so we do not have to make the same mistakes. Ovo je prednost koju mi kao vođe imamo, a to je da možemo da učimo iz primjera onih koji su zapisani u Bibliji, da ne bi ponavljali njihove greške. 
Thank God for the examples that we find in the pages of the Bible so we can become better leader of God's people. Hvala Bogu za dobre primjere koje su nam zapisane u Bibliji kako bi mi mogli uh, imati primjer i, i, i postali bolje vođe. Let's see one more scripture that's found in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse number 12. Pročitajmo još jedan stih, a to je, nalazimo u Hebrejima četvrta glava i 12. stih. For the word of God is living and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Jer Božja reč je živa i delotvorna, oštrija je od svakog dvoseklog mača i prodire dotle da razdvaja dušu i duh, kosti i njihovu moždinu i može prosuditi misli i namere srca. Now, at the beginning of these scriptures, I said, ask yourself the question, what is the theme in all these verses? What do they all have in common? Na početku, setićete se, uh, zapital sam vas uh, da uh, se zapitate šta je zajedničko svim ovim stihovima koje smo pročitali. And the answer to that question is, that all of these scriptures show us the importance of the Bible, the Word of God, and having it a part of our lives. I odgovor na to jeste značaj Božje reči kao takve i uh, ko, koji značaj ona ima u našim uh, ličnim životima. This Bible, this Word of God needs to be studied and by doing so it will bring us success in our life and also as leaders. Ovu uh, knjigu Bibliju trebamo studirati i uh, ona će nam doneti uspjeh uh, kako u ličnom životu tako i u našoj službi kao vođa. I'll close with this illustration today, something I learned many many years ago in a Sunday school class. Završit ću s jednom ilustracijom nešto o čemu sam naučio davno još u nedeljnoj školi. I call it the, the hand illustration and it shows you how to uh, bring the word of God into your life. I uh, to ću reći kao ilustracija šake uh, i kako reći Božju mogu doneti u svoj život. And it gives you five steps to applying the Bible, the Word of God, into your life as a leader. I tu su pet tih koraka kako tu reč Božju, Bibliju, primeniti u svom životu. The first finger, this little finger, is listening to the Word of God. Listening, hearing the Word of God spoken to us. Prvo, ovaj mali prst jeste slušanje Božje reči. The second finger, this ring finger, is reading the Word of God. So we are reading the Bible for ourselves. Ovaj drugi prst uh, uh, jeste uh, uh, kada čitamo Božju reč. Čitamo Božju reč za sebe. Now, the middle finger here is studying the Word of God. That's not just reading it, but studying it out, comparing one verse to another verse that's in the Bible. Ovaj uh, srednji prst jeste, uh, označava studiranje Božje reči, ne samo čitanje, ne samo slušanje, nego uspoređivanje sa ostalim stihovima, dakle studiranje. And finally, this finger, not finally, but next is this finger, the index finger, is memorizing the Word of God. Not just ovaj sle... memorizing. Ovaj sljedeći prst jeste uh, da upamtimo Božju reč, da uh, memorišemo Božju reč. That's so God can bring it back to your memory at the appropriate time when you need that word. Jer na taj način Bog će jednostavno da uh, tebi povrati u memoriju ono što si čitao i što si zapamtio. 
And finally, the thumb, that is meditating on God's word, allowing God to speak to you as you read it more than one time. A ovaj palac označava da meditiramo nad Božjom reču, razmišljamo, do, dakle, kada je čitamo neprestano i, i razmišljamo o njoj. If we will take these steps every day, a little bit every day, we will become better leaders and better people in the process. Ako ćemo ove korake da upotrebimo svakodnevno i budemo u tome ver, verni, mi ćemo bi, to će nam doneti uspeh u našu službu i u naša, uh, i, i uspeh kao vođa. I thank you for listening to this first lesson. Let's close in prayer as we uh, conclude this lesson today. Hvala vam što ste saslušali ovu prvu lekciju i dozvolite mi sa molitvom da završimo ovu lekciju. Lord, I thank you so much for allowing us to read your word, to study your word. I thank you the access that we have to your word today. Gospode, hvala ti što nam uh, omogućavaš da čitamo, da uh, studiramo tvoju reč i da imamo pristup tvojoj reči. You have shown us the importance of your word to help us to have successful lives and to be better leaders. Gospode, ti si nam pokazao značaj tvoje reči da budemo uspešni i da budemo bolje vođe. And so I encourage and I ask you to encourage those that are watching today to become students of the word of God and to allow themselves to learn from your word. Gospode, molim te da ohrabriš oni koji ovo slušaju, da budu studenti tvoje reči i da uh, budu uh, blagoslovljeni. We thank you for who you are and we thank you for what you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Mi ti zahvaljujemo za ono što ti jesi i za sve što si uradio za nas u imenu Isusa. Amen. God bless you everyone. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week. Bog vas blagoslovio, hvala vam što ste ovo odgledali i vidjet ćemo se sljedeće nedelje.